This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. The fatherly sentiment. Triggered in me yesterday in a Bronx train riding from the zoo with Hana. It was triggered by black boys. Which seems important to this narrative, though in a less racially divided location or time, being black could be omitted. The brothers were split by about the number of years that separated my late son, David, and my teenage son. The Bronx Travelers were probably 17 and 9. The 17 was a fine, manly boy becoming a man. And the basketball that sat on his backpack, held in place by his shins, made him appear as an NBA tracker. He had an oversized Samsung phone and white earbuds. One earbud was plugged into his ear and the other bud hung in ready position with a cable around his ear's back. He was so intensely focused on his game that it seemed the world could have been falling apart around him and he would not notice. Though he did notice each time he had to reach and return the basketball to the on the backpack storage location. The seat opened next to the 17, and it was filled with a boy that could have been his little brother. This was a touching scene for a long Bronx local ride. The 17 was flanked by the 9 <coughs> to his right, <coughs> right and left. <coughs> and the intense focus on his video game from the stranger to his left went unnoticed by the 17. The nine brother, falling asleep on a stranger's shoulder, also went unnoticed. So sleeping brother and intensely focused stranger was the 17's immediate surroundings that he was oblivious to. In time, a long time, the stranger boy who was traveling alone left and something knocked the 17 out of his v-game trance so he swung the brother's head from the stranger's shoulder to his own shoulder in such a loving way that it has me tapping away about this tender moment almost 24 hours later i learned the game was nba 2k15 fatherly emotions rose in me as i saw the 17 rise to the occasion to be fatherly I saw the stranger nine leave the train with reason to ache in his heart for a brother as good as the 17. Most of all, I would see my surviving son's pain losing his brother, David, to premature death. The nine brother was sleeping through moments wonderful, only made possible with intimate, loving relationships between siblings. The 17 was doing just what was natural to him. He was uninhibited. And just being a 17, playing 2K15. Yet his spare REM cycles were plenty to spare for his little bro. God, it was wonderful. And the best part is not one of the threesome really has a clue just how great life was for the series of five train stops on a Manhattan-bound Bronx train. I trust my teenage son could see that moment and appreciate how the ordinary can be extraordinary and how part of him will always wish to have David return, if only for a moment. My late son David was not Mahatma Gandhi, though he did leave a legacy. And yesterday, his legacy let me extract the beauty of one of life's ordinary moments. Amen. Alleluia. Assalamu alaikum. Muzzle top. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American, living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. 
find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, a restful night's sleep.